Hi everyone, Mike Wilson and Blake Topmeyer here with the Knoxville News Sentinel at a Tennessee Football Fan Day and Open Practice. Uh, we got here early this morning, talked with some players. Fans were lined up well before we got here, which is certainly something to see. But what were your overall impressions from today, Blake? Well, I think just three practices in, everybody, you know, quarterbacks is on, on people's mind. Until you name a starting quarterback, I think that's going to be the number one topic of conversation. And I think for me and, and you as well, to me it looks like Jared Garantano is the guy. Uh, Jeremy Pruitt's not going to name him the starter at this point, but I think we're all just kind of acting like there's there's more here than what's reality. I think reality is Jared Garantano is going to be the guy taking the first snap against West Virginia. Um, there's nothing we've seen that suggests to me otherwise. And I think JT Stroud is, is maybe one of the better looking quarterbacks on this team. That doesn't mean he's going to burn the red shirt, but what I'm saying is I, I feel like there's that separation between Garantano and Keller Christ and, and and, you know, Chris is kind of back there, I feel like, with more like J.T. Shrout, and then Will McBride's kind of in the back of the pack, I feel like. I think what we're seeing separate, especially, is Derek Garantano looks the part. Uh, maybe more so than last year. Physically, ball's coming out a lot faster. The velocity is different. I mean, all four of those guys going through rep lines, you see Derek Garantano, the ball to six. It, it looks a little bit different. looks a little bit more like what you're wanting to see. Yeah, I mean, when you talk about arm talent and, and you know, the high ceiling, he's the guy that has that. I mean, we came into camp saying that, Keller Christ is the safety valve, and I, I still feel like that's what it is, and I, I just don't think they're going to start a safety valve in week one. I think you, you give the guy with the arm talent, with the with the upside, and, and the guy that potentially could be here for a couple more years, uh, the chance to take the first snap, especially because this team is now used to him. He started seven games last year. He was here in the spring. Again, I think everything we're seeing says to me that number two is the guy that's going to be taking the first snap against West Virginia. One other thing on Garantano, I thought Tyson Held made a great comment about him the other day, saying he is passionate about being the quarterback at the University of Tennessee. I think we saw that last year, but maybe that's coming to life more now. Uh, another interesting position to watch, both linebacker positions. Yeah. I, I mean, inside we've got three guys, all juniors, Daniel Batuli, Corte Sab, and Derek Kirkland's back. What, what are your impressions of those guys? Yeah, I think that position could be a strength. Uh, you look at Batuli, I think he could be one of the best players uh, on this defense. It needs to be. He needs to be a leader. needs to be a guy that's you know, a hundred tackle type guy. And then I thought one of the more interesting position battles coming into the preseason would be, do they go with Kirkland as the other inside linebacker or do they go with Sapp? Uh, I don't know that it's too early to say who's going to win that, but I do think there's, there's three talented players there. I would say at this point, maybe Kirkland's got the inside edge, um, but overall, I think you got to feel comfortable about the options they, they have at that spot. On the other hand, the outside linebacker spot. Some interesting options you noticed today that Austin Smith's getting some primary reps there. Yeah, it seems like this this coaching staff really likes Austin Smith. I think a lot of people maybe would have thought, like, okay, it's going to be Daryl Taylor and, and Jonathan Congo at the outside linebacker spots uh, with Congo changing positions there. But I'm not so sure. I mean, I, I think Austin Smith is firmly in that mix for, for a starting job. And, and, again, I think that's a position that has some depth because even beyond that, uh, you have DeAndre Johnson kind of – Working, working in there as well. So I think you got four guys who you can comfortably put out there on the field. And, and so overall, uh, I think linebacker has really become a position of, of strength for this team. Maybe the position of strength. If I had to pick like one position that I feel like is probably best at this point, I, I think it's probably linebacker. And then one last thing. I mean, this day, the fan day, you know, got moved from spring down to the fall under Pruitt. How do you feel about the turnout today? The fans were lined up early at 10 o'clock out there. Yeah, I mean, I think it's a pretty good turnout. And as you said, when we showed up, uh, for media portion of the day, which is was not open to fans, there were, there were fans sitting outside Neyland Stadium three hours before gates were set to open uh, for, for fan day. So I think the excitement is there. There's been, you know, audible applause throughout the, the open courses of, of Rocky Frank. Top being started by various yeah. fans. Yeah. So I do, I do think there's a little bit of excitement, and and at this point, you know, we've kind of transitioned. When you transition pre spring to the preseason, it's like. It's right around the corner now. I, I think maybe people that, even in the spring, okay, there's the excitement's there, but it's still spring football. You know, 30 guys aren't even out there. The, the summer incomers, the injured players weren't even there, so you really don't get a true feel. Now, um, you know, anybody that came out and watched practice today, I think they're getting a feel for what this team's going to look like come September 1st. And right now to us, that looks like Jared Garantano's team, maybe above all else. Uh, stay tuned to Go Vols Extra and KnoxNews.com for all the updates on Tennessee football.